Well, I'd say my love for theater and stories began early on. I mean, as a kid, I always enjoyed going to the movie theater. I vividly remember watching the initial Star Wars in the theater and being impressed with what I was seeing on the screen. And I think for theater, I was attracted to also the, the passion with which the people who did it had for it. It was something, especially in live entertainment, you can see the effort that the performers are putting into the performance. And it's that power of live entertainment that is just fascinating to see how it can affect people's lives. And uh, I picked the high school I went to specifically for that reason. I had seen a number of performances that they had done and I was very impressed so I, I wanted to go to that high school to be involved in that community there. When I was a freshman there was a senior in that theater program that happened to uh, go to UWSP and then um, one of my closest friends through high school who was a year ahead of me also chose Stevens Point as the school where he was going to go. He was also involved in theater. And so when I was a senior in high school and he was in his first year at Stevens Point, I went up and visited him and just felt very comfortable and very at home and knowing that it had a, a reputable program and it was a place I felt very comfortable and welcomed. It was just a no-brainer for me. I remember him as being an individual who was able to take charge far beyond his experience level. He just had the ability to see the big picture of what's going on. He primarily was a stage manager for us in the department, which in many ways is the most responsible position that we give to students. They are essentially in charge of a show. When I was there, they had players productions, studio productions, and then main stage productions. And as an undergraduate student, I got to do shows in each one of those categories. I was very grateful that I learned the value of that very early. My second year at UWSP, we went to the USITT conference, and so you got to talk a lot of, with a lot of the students from around the country. And I quickly figured out that I had more practical experience in my second year as an undergraduate student at UWSP than a lot of the graduate level students I was talking to. He didn't rest on his abilities. He really dug in. Even if he felt comfortable with an area, he was studying, he was researching, he was organizing to be able to do as much as possible, as much as the situation would let him do. So my current role is I'm a vice president of physical production for ABC Signature. The role that I play changes kind of depending on where the project is in its life cycle. When a show is in development, a lot of times I will be brought in and asked to comment on the practicality of a script to shoot. And then once the show is up and running, I become kind of like a stage manager in that I'm kind of the central hub of communication. When there's an issue on the show, I'm the person they call. It's challenging, it, it can be rewarding, it can be fun. You know, the one thing that I'll say about television versus theater is you don't get the instant gratification, right? You, you don't get the, the, the applause at the end of the night. It's definitely a different world from that viewpoint, and there are some days where I miss the, uh, the live audience and, and knowing that your project is having an impact on people, but there are other elements of television also that you can tell far more immersive stories. And I have two recent projects that I'm very proud of, one of which was called Five Days at Memorial, and it's the story about a hospital in New Orleans during Hurricane Katrina. After the evacuation, a significant amount of dead patients were found and there was an accusation against some of the doctors that they were committing euthanasia. Another project that I've done recently that I'm very proud of is airing right now on, on Disney Plus and Hulu called A Small Light. This tells the story of Otto Frank's assistant and secretary who actually was the person who hid the Frank family. And I think it turned out creatively amazing. I think it was very strong performances. I'm very proud of it. Also for me, it was a tie-in with Stevens Point. My first main stage show that I stage managed at Stevens Point was actually a production of The Diary of Anna Frank. 
So I think being honored with this award is just humbling and I'm grateful for the opportunity and just feel truly humbled. <laughs>